Hi everyone, welcome to Zainat's NEET PG 2022 information series. In our earlier video on Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling, we looked at the seats and the basic eligibility criteria based on NEET PG percentile for Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling. In this video, we'll look at the further eligibility criteria, who is eligible for Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling and what are the, ter the terms non-local, non-local, uh, what do they mean and what are they eligible for? Uh, there's a lot of uh, general, there are a lot of queries on who a local candidate is, who a non-local candidate is, and whether I am eligible as a local or a non-local, and whether what are the seats that I am eligible for if I am AU local, SVU local, etc. So these we will try to clarify in this particular video. Now, first thing that you need to remember is candidates are split as, uh, categorized as local and non-local in Andhra Pradesh. Candidates. First, candidates are categorized as local and non-local in Andhra Pradesh. Seats are categorized as local and unreserved in Andhra Pradesh. So basically, there is a there are a set of local seats and there are a set of unreserved seats. Uh, now we'll come to the candidate classification. First, we will take up the candidate classification before we move on to the seats which they are eligible for. First, look at this and you will see the exact candidate classification and whether they are local or not local. The local candidates are those who have done their MBBS from Andhra or Telangana. If you have not done your MBBS from Andhra or Telangana, you are non-local. That is very clear. So even if you are a domicile of Andhra or Telangana, it doesn't matter. You will be a non-local if you haven't done your MBBS from Andhra or Telangana. Now, let's say a candidate has done an MBBS from Andhra or Telangana. How will the, whether the candidate will be AU local, SVU local or OU local will depend on which institute he or she did their MBBS from. So, there are three regions which are categorized in Andhra, uh, within the combined state of, uh, combined uh, regions of uh, Andhra, Telangana. AU region, SVU region. Andhra University region and Sri Venkateshwara University region. And then all institutes under Telangana as OU region. So AU region and SVU region are under Andhra Pradesh and all institutes under Telangana are OU region. How are they categorized? AU local, you can just pass this. All these institutes are AU institutes. All these institutes are SVU region institutes. And there is Siddhartha Medical College, which is separate, which is not listed anywhere. It is part of Andhra Pradesh, but it is not listed anywhere. Now, any candidate, so we said there are these institutes under AU local, any candidate who is an MBBS from these institutes, irrespective of their domicile, they may be other state candidates, they are AU local. Similarly, any candidate who has an MBBS from SVU region, they can be from other state or from Andhra or Telangana, they are SVU local. Similarly, any candidate who is an MBBS from Telangana, the entire Telangana is under OU region, any candidates from is an MBBS from Telangana. We have not listed down the institutes because uh, those institutes do not participate in Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling. But if you are an MBBS from Telangana, you are OU local as far as Andhra Pradesh government quota is, counseling is concerned. You can apply as OU local. There is a specific distinct set of seats that you will be eligible for, which we will come to. Now, this is the local criteria. We left out Siddhartha Medical College earlier, right? Which is there in Andhra, but we left out. It is... Uh, universal in nature, it doesn't have a region attached to it. So anybody who is an MBBS from Siddhartha is a local, but whether this person is AU or SVU or OU local depends on the study period prior to admission to MBBS course. So from 6 to 12, the, the 7 years basically, 6 to 12th, if the candidate had studied in a region which comes under districts that come under AU region, then the candidate is AU local. And if the Siddhartha MBBS candidate had studied under SVU region then uh, from 6 to 12, then the candidate comes under SVU local. And similarly, if the candidate had done, done schooling in six, from 6 to 12 in OU local, which is OU region, which is Telangana, and is an MBBS from Siddhartha, then the candidate is OU local. So any MBBS here is classified as either one of the, uh, under one of these three, AU local, SVU local, or OU local. Who is a non-local? You might be a resident of AP or Telangana for 10 years. But you did not do your MBBS from AP and Telangana. So anybody who did not do their MBBS from AP or Telangana, did it from other state or uh, from uh, you're a foreign medical graduate, then 
you would fall under the non-local criteria provided you come under any one of these categories. So, uh, made a minor modification here. So, any candidate who has resided in Andhra Pradesh or Telangana for 10 years, the candidate uh, himself or herself has resided, excluding the period of study outside the state, which may be your MBBS, then you are eligible for for non-local status. Any candidate whose parents, let's say you went and study outside for 15 years, etc. But your parents have resided in AP for Telangana for 10 years, excluding their period of employment outside state, then you will be eligible for non-local status in AP government quota council. Let's say you, your parent, you or your parent or spouse is an employee of the state government or central government or PSUs or any other institution in, mentioned over here in AP or Telangana, then you will be eligible for non-local. It could be your parent or spouse too who is an employee. Candidates who are spouses of local candidates. Let's say by this criteria, your spouse is a local candidate. Did, did his or her MBBS from uh, these regions or from AP or Telangana. Then you would be a non-local candidate in AP government quota. Even if you don't fall under the local uh, criteria, you did not do your MBBS from here, you are from a different state, etc. Still, you can apply as non-local if your spouse is a local. Now, this is clearly this clearly defines whether a candidate is AU local, SVU local, OU local, or non-local. Now we come to the next part: whether they are eligible for a AU go uh, AP government quota. All these candidates are obviously eligible for AP government quota. That is why we are discussing this. The next part is the seats. We said seats are distributed as local seats and unreserved seats. So, what are local seats? Within a particular region, in those institutes, let's say for AU, in these institutes, 85% of seats are reserved for local candidates. Basically, candidates who did MBBS from AU. So that is called local seats. And those set of seats are available for local candidates. This is AU local candidates. There are The rest 15% are available for unreserved candidates. The rest 15% are called unreserved seats. And they are available for both AU local or any local candidate and non-local candidates as well. Basically, everybody who is eligible for, for the counselling, for AP government quota counselling, will be eligible for this unreserved set of seats. Similarly, SVU also have has a set of local seats for which SVU region candidates are eligible. So we can look at it in detail over here. If you are an AU local candidate, you are eligible for AU local seats, which is uh, this set of seats under AU region. And also all unreserved seats. These unreserved seats is 15% under SVU region, 15% under Siddhartha Medical College, etc. Now, if you are an SVU local, then you're eligible for SVU local seats, which is basically this set of SVU local seats, 85% under this set of institutes, and also for all 15% mentioned over here, any 15% you are eligible for. Similarly, if you're an MBBS of Siddhartha Medical College, you would have fallen under AU local or SVU local. It is as per whatever AU local is eligible for. If you are an OU local from Isidartha, then OU local criteria follows, which we'll see next. Uh, if you are an OU local, then what are you eligible for? There are no OU local institutes in Andhra Pradesh, remember that, because all those institutes are in Telangana. You will have one set of seats under Siddhartha Medical College alone. That we'll come to later. Now, the last set is the non-local candidates. All the non-local candidates are eligible only for 15% of seats here, which are available as unreserved seats. They will compete with both loc all the local candidates, the entire set of candidates who are eligible for these unreserved seats. They are not reserved. Everybody is eligible for these seats. Now we left out Siddhartha alone here. Siddhartha seats, the seats under Siddhartha are divided as AU local, SVU local, OU local. Some seats for AU local, some seats for AU, SVU local, and some seats for OU local. And there are rest 15 percentage which are unreserved. Who is eligible for this? Oh, whoever is eligible as AU local, as a candidate under AU local, MBBS from AU region, is eligible for some seats in Siddhartha which come under AU local. Similarly, for SVU local, some the candidates who are eligible as an SVU local candidate will be eligible. And OU local, the only advantage that OU local has other than the unreserved seats is this set of Siddhartha seats. Some seats in Siddhartha are reserved for OU local candidates. Even though you are an MBBS from Telangana, you will be eligible for these set of local seats under Siddhartha Medical College because it is universal uh, in nature, basically. So this would clearly explain who is eligible for what set of seats. 
the distinction that you need to understand fundamentally is that local candidates are there and then and all local candidates are there local seats are there and unreserved seats are there everybody is eligible for unreserved seats only the particular local candidates are eligible for that particular region local seats that is the fundamental thing that you need to remember to understand this entire thing hope this video was helpful there lot there's a lot of confusion on this hope this sorts it out uh, if there is any query on any of these uh, co the content in this video or any query on who, whether you are eligible or not please comment on this video we try our level best to explain we also have our telegram group links please do share the telegram group links across uh, and join the telegram groups we'd clarify most of your queries in those groups thank you thank